Bakery's virtual kitchen, and as promised, I got a special guest with me today. Yes. This guy, this piece of eye candy here, is my Valentine, but also, more importantly, happens to be Haley's Cupcakery's official taste tester. He's good at it. So, have you heard of a cake pop? Yes, I have. Have you heard of a cake pop sickle? No, I've never heard of that. Okay. Well, cake pop sickle is pretty much a cake pop, but better. Yeah. You want to see how it's done? So, yeah. Let's go. Let's start with the tools and ingredients. So I've got some pink candy melts here for the outside of the popsicle, as well as white and red for the decoration. In addition, I have some Easy Thins here to help thin out the chocolate if it gets too thick. And some sprinkles here for decoration. Next, you'll need to prepare a batch of your favorite cake mix, or even a boxed cake mix, as well as some of your favorite frosting. You won't need too much. And lastly, you'll need some silicone molds for the cake popsicles. I've got a couple different sizes here, as well as some popsicle sticks. Got wooden or acrylic, whatever you prefer. Just make sure that the popsicle stick fits in your mold. You'll also need a spatula and some piping bags. Now let's get started by making the filling. In a bowl, you'll want to crumble up your cake mix and you're looking for a nice fine crumb. No big bits. Next, you'll want to add your frosting to your crumbled cake. A good ratio is one tablespoon of frosting per two cups of cake. Once you've mixed it all the way through, you should be able to roll a ball and it should hold its shape. Now it's time to melt the chocolate for the outside of our popsicles. I used candy melts and I popped this in the microwave in 30 second spurts until it was melted. And now for the assembly. Start off by placing a couple tablespoons of the melted chocolate into the mold and using the back of your spoon, push it up to the edges so that way all sides of the mold are completely covered. Before the chocolate completely hardens, we'll want to press some of our prepared cake filling in the middle, making sure not to overfill it, leaving a little bit of the top exposed so that we can cover it in chocolate. Now we'll dip the cake popsicle sticks into a little bit of our melted chocolate or candy melts before putting it into the mold to ensure that it adheres to the popsicle. Then we'll want to take the remainder of our chocolate and spoon a little bit on the top. Don't use too much because we will scrape off any excess. We're just trying to seal in the cake filling that we've just put in there. And don't worry if it gets too messy. These are the back sides of our popsicles. Another option, if you prefer not to use the molds, you can use the forms to form your cake and then dip them directly into chocolate. Now we'll remove the popsicles from the molds. You'll want to gently pull the silicone mold away from the popsicle and use your fingers to push it out. If it gets stuck, chances are it's still adhered to part of the mold, so just gently push with your fingers. I'd also recommend pushing on the popsicle stick to help it get out of the mold in one piece. And ta-da! Beautiful! Now it's decorating time! For one of my designs, I drizzled some red candy melts on the popsicle and then topped it off with some of my Valentine's Day fancy sprinkles. Another fun design is to take some white candy melts and drizzle in one direction, and then drizzle with red in the other. I then top it off with a white fondant heart that I brushed with some luster dust. So, wasn't that typical, right? No. Mm. Too. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as he enjoys this cake popsicle. We'll see you next time in the HC Virtual Kitchen. Bye! Bye! <laughs>